Hi, I'm Taylor Rowan. Today, I want to show you the latest innovation in fire training props, brought to you by Tailored. Over the past few years, we've worked with multiple different fire departments, and we've realized that there's a real need for more on-site training at each fire department. Now, our goal was to make it so that any fire department could have the ability to have on-site training. In order for every station to have access to on-site training, there were three key components that we had to keep in mind. The first one being size. Our prop is eight foot wide by 12 foot long, making it fit into the confines of any parking spot. Number two, mobility. We wanted our prop to be able to be moved around site or pulled into a truck bay, hence our clip and go wheel system. Number three, functionality. We didn't want training to become redundant in such a small space, so we have multiple different functions on our prop and the ability to add on to at any time. Let's go over the key sections. Our window prop has three key components. Number one is a piece of OSB or sheetrock can be slid across the face of the window. Number two is our rebar holder. Rebar can be pushed in at the bottom and the top and held into place, replicating the bars on a window. The lower angle iron on our window prop can be removed to make it easier to go in and out of our window. The third component of our window is our window sash. Two sleeves are placed inside to hold a two by two block into place. Our hinged window insert is designed to the exact size and specifications of a Denver prop drill. We wanted the walls on our tailored prop to be collapsed down easily. In order to do this, we've installed two by four hangers on both ends of the prop. And as you can see, this hall has now been collapsed down to 28 inches. Our forcible entry door is designed with two doors on one jam. One to practice and simulate outer swinging doors, and the second to practice and imitate inner swinging doors. Forcible entry door has been designed with the removable pieces in both the jam and the container door, making it easy to change out between breaches. There's two ways to use our forcible entry door. The first way is by sliding the rod into the jam wood. When you force the door open, it blows out your jam wood, which is very easily replaceable. The second use is by putting a piece of two by two inside the sleeves on the outside. To make it more difficult, you can add the second one in on the bottom. The same system can be replicated with our inner swinging door. The second story roof window is made to slip into the same receiver slots as the rail system. As you can tell here, this makes it very easy to do high ladder work from the upper deck. The receiver pockets on both the bottom and top have been designed for any props that we have currently or in the future. You'll see here our adjustable pitch roof. We've designed this with as little moving components as possible to make this very easy to adjust the pitch of the roof. As you can see now, it's adjusted to a 612 pitch. This can be taken all the way down to a flat roof. Let's show you how that's done. The three main components of our roof prop are our roof receiver, which hold the two by six at the top, our roof slide, which is allows the two by sixes to slide through as we adjust pitch, and then our roof catches. Our roof catches are made to hold the receiver in place as you adjust it up and down.
As you can tell, the roof receiver has been completely disassembled. The two by sixes have been removed and the safety posts on the end have been taken out. This yellow piece is its own separate piece and can be replaced with an eight foot wide section or the 12 foot wide as you see here now. Depending on the desired roof pitch training for that day, this can be adjusted up and down. To change your pitch. We're now training on a flat roof. In order to do this, we put our extension arms in the end, pinned them into place, we drop our receiver down to the bottom notch, and our two by sixes are then inserted in. Once that's done, you have a 24 inch clearance underneath your flat roof prop. Another functionality of our roof prop is using just the receiver slide as holding your two by sixes. By doing this, you can adjust the pitch by shortening or extending your two by six. A lot of times this is easier for guys who maybe aren't as experienced or you're trying to do faster demonstrations to show guys the proper technique. Another component is our confined space training. As you can tell, there's a catch on the floor and on the ceiling, making it very easily to slide plywood in and out. These catches can be adjusted to be narrower or wider depending on the training needed that day. D-rings have been installed on the roof and on the floor to make it easy to install Romex, string, line, whatever's needed for confined space training. Receiver slots have been added on both sides A and B to make it very easy to install our clip and go wheel system. Now that we've gone over the main functions of the tailored prop, I can't reiterate enough. This is not meant to replace the necessary training needed at training towers. This is just to enhance the training at every fire station. And stay tuned as we continue to come up with more training devices and add-ons to the tailored prop. For more information, visit our website, tailored.com. That's spelled T-A-Y-L-O-R-D.com.